What's up, Bessie? Would you like to trade one wheat for 10,000 cookies? Wait, 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 guys, 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 we can talk about this. You don't actually have to do it because Bessie said to do it. Wait, why did I get shorter? No, no, no. What is this? What did you guys do? I'm a pair of legs. Today I'm morphing into every custom boss from the Twilight Forest dimension. Uh, there's Nagas, Phantom Knights, Hydras, and even the legendary Yurgast. Will I be able to morph my way to victory? Watch until the end to find out. Look what you guys have done to me. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look, what, what, what do you, I'm like a little bean creature with a pair of legs. Every single person watching today's video right now owes me one cookie for what you did to me. Bessie did explain to me though that I will indeed get my 10,000 cookies if I can beat the Twilight Forest and morph into every single custom boss. So for those of you guys that have been living under a rock and have not seen the Twilight Forest dimension, once you install the mod, you need to surround a two by two pool of water with any sort of flowers and then throw a diamond in the center. And then you can hop through we only have a 20 minute time limit to beat the entire Twilight Forest dimension and get every single custom morph. Luckily, I'm a pair of pants with a shotgun. Okay, now we also have this blank magic map. On this map, it should show me every single one of the custom dungeons. So the first one that we're gonna be looking for is the Naga. Fly away, my beautiful pair of pants. Off to the Naga we go. This isn't technically a boss, but I would love to turn into a giant goat sheep. <laughs> got him. Did it work? 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 Yes, we got it. We turned into a big horn jeep. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the first boss of the day. As soon as I step foot in here, the Naga will spawn in. Luckily, it has no idea that it's actually I, Beck Pro Jack, Slayer of Nagas. It just thinks I'm a lowly brown poop sheep. Little does it know I have the ability to morph into llama. Mama Llama Jama is gonna be the last thing this Naga has ever seen. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where, hey, 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 where, where, where is this big nerd going? How do you get up there in the leaves? Not a match. He's no match for Mama Llama Jama. <laughs> Yo, it's working! It's working! Okay, now if I can get this morph, I'll unlock all of the Naga's armor as well. It's basically a giant reptilian boss snake, and it has so much resistance. But it, uh, it can't resist the, the power of Llama Mama Jama's spit. <laughs> Working. Okay, I'm gonna need to switch over to a blaster shotgun. Yes. Oh wait, this is working amazingly. Okay, okay. I should probably use that from now on. As much as it's really fun to spit as Mama Llama Jama, we gotta move through this a little bit quicker. And let's go see. Did we get the morph? We got the morph. Look how many hearts I have now. We also picked up the Naga scale armor, which is super, super powerful. What's up, little bunny? <laughs> Wait a second, it might be really useful to get one of these little tiny bird creatures too, and then I can fly around and morph into a naga and drop in on the next custom boss. Come here, bird, come here, bird, come here, come here, let me eat you. Wait, can I run through blocks? I can. Wait, that is so cool. I eat blocks for dinner. Wait, I just realized I can use my wings to fly. No way. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I completely forgot. So, the Twilight Forest dimension, it actually has a progression system. So, in order to get to the next area that I have to go to, I'm gonna need to morph into the Twilight. Twilight Lich. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so somewhere in this tower, there will be the Twilight Lich. Oh, oh, I think I'm I'm running over dogs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my tail actually does damage. I need to be really careful of that. I'm basically playing Slither.io, but in Minecraft. I love that I can just hop around like a bunny rabbit too. Hippity hoppity, give me your scappity. Where are you? Okay, we can actually just fly up <laughs> because I'm a flying snake. This is amazing. Okay, okay, we need to figure out a way to get inside. I did bring stick grenades. Let's test out if it works. Did it work? It, it did, did not. not. Can I just run through the blocks? Wait, for some reason, okay, I'm not able to run through the blocks. We're gonna have to morph back into the pair of pants just so we're tiny enough to fit through the window. I found a tiny entrance down here. I'm just a pair of pants with a shotgun. Nothing suspicious at all. So if my knowledge is correct, we need to keep moving our way to the top of the tower. Now there's a bunch of fake different rooms in here, so I need to make sure that we find the main entrance to the main room, which I think is over here. We broke it! This is it, the Twilight Lich! Nothing suspicious, just a pair of pants. I'm gonna try to shoot it in three, two, one. Oh, it did not like that. Okay, so I forgot. The Twilight Lich, I'm gonna have to hit back its little ender balls back at its face. Can I do damage now? Oh, wait, I can actually do some damage. So I think I actually broke its shield already with my blaster shotgun. Okay, I don't know if I wanna be a pair of pants anymore. anymore. Okay, we're gonna have to morph back into the Naga Ball so I don't die. Look how much health I have. And now we're just gonna wrap this dude up. Wrap him up, wrap him up, wrap him up. Wait a second, I just realized my tail's a little bit shorter. So as the Naga's health goes down, my, my tail... 
or my tail gets shorter as the health goes down. But look at it. I'm actually doing damage to it with my tail. Yo, wait, that is sick. And he keeps blowing up himself too. Okay, we're gonna just pin, pin him in the corner. Pin him in the corner. He can teleport, but it's not a problem because I could just keep whipping around my tail. I'm like Willow Smith wh whipping my hair back and forth, except it's a tail. It's working. This is the most scuffed battle ever, but it's working. Whip you. Okay, so every time I whip it, it seems like it teleports, and it does a little bit more damage, though. And I have so much health, too, that I can take out all the tiny little zombies. Okay, wait a second. Let's try to use our blaster shotgun and see if we can speed this up. We did it! Okay, so let's see. We've collected the, the scepter of twilight. We also got the zombie scepter and the twilight lich trophy. I think we can actually use this scepter. Oh my gosh, we can. So we can use this scepter, and then we can also use the zombie scepter in order to summon in pet zombies. Thanks, little dude. Fist bump. Okay, that was a mistake. And we can officially morph into the twilight lich. It doesn't have as much health as the naga, but I'm pretty sure it can resist even more damage, and it has such cool particle effects. The next boss we have to kill is the hydra boss, which is located in the fiery swamp. But over there, you guys see that big mound of fire dirt? That's where the Hydra's base is. But in order to get there, we need something called Meef Stragonoff, which only drops from minnow shrooms. I think they're found in the swamp biome, so we could just bippity boppity all over these swamp lily paddities, and we can go fight our way to victory. <laughs> yeah, totally. To find the minnow shroom and morph into it and also steal its Meef Stragonoff, we're going to need to go down into the labyrinth. Down we go. We should be able to find the minish room somewhere down on the second level. The only problem is you're not actually able to dig the labyrinth. So we're gonna need to find the actual way in order to go down one more level. Wait, this isn't one, is it? No, I think this is just a normal minotaur, but we're gonna kill it anyway. And then we could sneak up on it using its morph. There we go. Okay, so we morphed into a minotaur. It doesn't have nearly as much health as the boss is, but it'll allow us to sneak up on the minish room without it knowing. Wait, we maybe found a little glitch in the system here. Nope, never mind. it's bedrock. Wait, this is it. Okay, this goes down at least one more level. Now we just have to find the buffed out minnow shrooms. They're basically moose shrooms on steroids. Wait, this has to be it. I think they're kept in cages in the labyrinth. Yes, it worked. Okay, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna oh my gosh, there's so much damage. Yo, 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 morph, 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 morph. Okay, okay, we're back to the Twilight Ledge. Okay, now we can use our Twilight Scepter, spam it, and you also get some zombies in here. Yo, it's working. Okay, wait, this dude does a lot of damage. Yes, my zombie minions are doing fantastic. They stand no chance. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we did it. We got it. And look at that. We got the Ministry Morph. We have two Meave Strogan off, which should be enough to allow us to fight the Hydra. What are these bug creatures? We need to fight the bug. Yo, that's sick i want it i want it we got it we're a fire beetle let's test it out <laughs> this thing is amazing this is definitely one fired up beetle let's see what happens okay so we stepped inside and uh, okay now that we have this it actually looks like because with a fire beetle we barely take any flame damage let's see if i drink this me stroganoff okay i ate it the mighty stroganoff okay so it permanently warms you and allows you to venture into the fire swamp we've done it now we have a new problem the hydra i think the best way to fight this is as the Twilight Lich, but if it gets a little bit sketchy, we're gonna have to morph into the Naga. We have found the three-headed beast. The Hydra boss is one of those creatures that you want to aim for the head, but in reality, you don't, because it'll just keep growing back two heads for every one that you kill. I can actually maybe show you guys, so let's see if I just... Okay, all right, I don't know if I'm actually going for the head. Let's see if we can maybe get in and shoot the head a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this one head, right? I'm gonna see if I can actually chop off the head. As you can see, the Hydra's health isn't really going down. Die. Da, da, dab, dab, da, dab, da, dab, 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 Okay, okay, okay. So one of the heads is dead, right? And look at that. We have another one that just grew. And a fourth one. So if you do ever fight this thing, make sure to aim for the body. Okay, go, 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 go. Blaster shotgun, maybe. Blaster shotgun. Let's try to use our scepter of twilight. It is invincible. Oh my gosh, we just did so much damage. We gotta get out of here. Let's try to throw a couple of grenades. I think the Hydra might be immune to grenades. We're so close. We're so close. Yes. The Hydra goes down. Uh, bro, its entire body just turned to ashes. Uh, where are the heads? Am I... Wait, can I not morph into the heads? Let's try this out. Wait, it says Hydra, right? Look how many hearts I have first off. I have like 15 rows of hearts, but my body can't generate heads. I'm literally just a pair of legs again, and now I have a tail. What is up with today's video and legs? I don't get it. It's not a problem, though. We officially have the Hydra Trophy and also some Hydra Chops. They provide some extra regeneration, so that's perfect. The next place we need to travel to as a pair of Hydra legs is the Dark Forest to find the Dark Forest Stronghold. We're on top of our next location, the Night Phantom Stronghold. The only issue is I'm slightly too big, so it looks like we're gonna have to morph back down to something tiny like Mama Lama Jama. 
I'm a little too big. I guess we're going back to a pair of pants. We've located the entrance. Uh, okay. How do we get down? Oh, wait a second. Okay. In order to get to the lower levels, I believe I have to find a trophy room. And oh, wait, it's actually right here. So we just need to put one of our trophies on top of here. So if I grab the Naga trophy, that's not where I want it. The Naga trophy on top. Now this will open up. The next objective is to find the night phantoms that haunt the labyrinth below. Is this one of them? Is this... Oh, no, it's just a helmet crab. What's up, little buddy? I would like to become a helmet crab because you look super cute and cuddly. <laughs> Wait, I'm a flipping crab. Now they'll never suspect a thing. What is this? There's so many oars down here. <laughs> I found a monkey goblin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> When it drops TNT, what? It just blew itself up. Dude, there are some weird creatures down here. Is that it? All right. What are you? It's like a baby version of Barney. Baby blue Barney? Thank you. I will disguise myself as you. It's called a kobold. And it looks like, wait, my helmet is on my head. That actually looks so funny. We can also defeat a slime beetle and then become the slime beetle. It actually has a decent amount of health. Is this one of the night phantoms? Hold on, wait, let's try to kill it. Come here, come here, buddy. It's okay, little dude. Wait, he actually has a lot more health than I thought he would. Whoa, 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 wait, he's kind of crazy. Wait, the night phantoms might be spawning in there. Let's make sure that we kill this one. Oh, it's the pants. It's the fan. It's the, it's the flipping pants. I found the, I found the upper half. No way. Look, look, this is, a, this is the top of the pants. Let's see what this strange creature is with a giant wrecking ball. Definitely not Miley Cyrus. It's called a block and chain goblin. Wait, that is sick. We also have the block and chain weapon. Wait, it can break blocks? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, little guy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, directly in front of us. That has to be it, right? Oh my gosh, wait, they're going through walls. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit one. I don't know if that was a good idea. Can I even hit them? With oh, I can. Did we do it? Oh, what is going on? Hey, 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 hey. Get, get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. I'll hit you with my block and chain ball. Oh my gosh, wait, it's working. Wait, 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 it's working. Yo, we did it. Carmite acclamation. Settle the restless phantoms in the knight's tomb and the Carmonite tower's devices will obey you. Wait, we also got the knight phantom trophy and some super OP weapons. Did I get the morph? Did I get the morph? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Give, give me the morph. Yes, the knight phantom. Hey, 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 what, what are you? Yeah, you little dude. Wait, this guy can actually fly through blocks? Wait, that is so cool. The next thing we're looking for is the Yurgast, and I think I may have found it. This is it, that's it, the Yurgast tower. We're going right to the top. Let's see, is the Yurgast up here? Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna spawn right in the middle, yo! Morph, 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 okay. I need to morph into something that's really, really, really powerful. Helmet Crab. Helmet Crab, lead me to victory. Go, Helmet Crab, go! It's working! <laughs> I'm a crab with a shotgun! Yes. All my dreams are coming true today! Wait, wait, I'm dying, I'm dying. Okay, I need to switch in something a little bit bigger. The Hydra. Maybe, okay, there's not enough space to do that here. Let's go over here, and then we're gonna morph into the Hydra for extra health. Your guest, meet Hydra legs with a shotgun. Wait, 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 I wonder if I morph into the Naga, if I can actually, like, tail whip it. Flying snake attack! Tail whip! It's not effective. We're so close! It's so loud, bro, it's breaking my ears! That's it, we got the morph. Wait a second, I didn't realize there's, like, little gas creatures? Where the heck did these things come from? Is this a bomb? What did I just do? Um, all right, I think I just set a trap off. But let's see if I got the morph. Okay, so I got the little gasling creature. The thing is so cute and tiny. But let's see if I got the big boy, the Yurgas. I can't even see what it looks like in third person. You can see its brain. There's not much going on. This thing is so big. The best part is it has an absurd amount of health and it can fly. The next area we need to find is the snow forest in order to fight the alpha yeti this is it okay looks like yeah we found the alpha yeti's lair okay so here's the game plan right i'm gonna kill one of the little tiny yetis and then i'm gonna go in and fight the alpha yeti it'll have no idea hey how you guys doing little tiny castling don't mind me kill it okay are we safe are we safe are we safe oh he just threw me <laughs> no way no way no way no way so, look, 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 look i'm one of you but with the shotgun totally not suspicious at all this dude's throwing me out of his house. He threw me into a tree. I might have to annihilate him too. I'm so sorry. How's everybody doing? It's a nice cold day today, isn't it? Yeah, you guys you guys having fun today? You guys having any snowball fights? Oh, what's up, Dad? Long time no see. Let's do this in three, two, one! Yes! This dude is trash. Hey, 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 Dad, I, I killed him. I killed him. He's dead. Heh, psych, just kidding. Now I'm your dad. Yo, look at my face, man. I look kind of, kind of a little bit terrifying. You guys got any cookies for me? The final boss is directly in front of us. 
and it is the Snow Queen. I have a feeling that the Alpha Yeti might be a little bit too big to sneak up on the Snow Queen, so I think I'm gonna have to morph into a penguin. The Snow Queen will never see it coming. A penguin with a shotgun? Who would expect that? <laughs> this dude's looking at me like, what the heck just happened? Let's fly all the way up top because I am now no longer a flightless creature. Well, this doesn't seem to be working, is it? I broke my way into the main room. Wait, this one has to be it. Look, there's ice guards. Let's try to morph into one of those. Okay, I morphed into the snow guardian. Now we just have to break our way to the top. Hey, 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 chill. Wait, I see a spawner up there. We made it. It's the snow queen. Okay, okay, okay. This is kind of awkward. Um, I'm just a penguin. Look, that's probably not going to work. We're going to have to alpha yeti this. Let's get all of our zombies in here. And they're all going for the snow queen. Let's go. Okay, okay, so we need to get hits from above her ice shield. Anything below that's not going to work. Also, when she spawns in her ice crystals, I need to make sure that I kill them. Oh, oh, we're doing a lot of damage. Oh, she came down. Dude, my zombie minions are doing so good. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting back here, chilling like a villain. Oh, we're so close. Yes. Yes. We've done it. Play the Hydra, Yurgast, and Snow Queen. We have officially defeated all of the major bosses. And now we can morph into the Snow Queen. This is so cool. I also have ice bombs. Well, that's, that's pretty dope. Be sure to comment down below what I should morph into next. And also make sure you leave a like if you like cookies. Seriously, who doesn't like cookies?